Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and today's June 12th, 2024. And before we jump into things here, as per usual, I wanted to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield discount code as well as a TCG Player affiliate link. And any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our losers list off here today with Urza's workshop from Commander of the Brothers War. This land is down 12.45% from $20.73 to $18.15 for its market price, and its average price is $19.20. Conjurer's Closet from Avison Restored. This artifact is down 12.50% from $11.76 to $10.29 for its market price, and its average price is $10.16. Bitter Blossom from Ultimate Masters. This mythic is down 12.70% from $15.83 to $13.82 for its market price, and its average price is $18. Blood Crypt, and this is the retro frame version of the Shockland from Ravnica Remastered, down 12.71% from $17.54 to $15.31 for its market price, and its average price is $17.86. Sword of Wealth and Power, and this is the extended out version of this card from Outlaws of Thunder Junction, the big score. It's down 12.85% from $36.57 to $31.87 for its market price, and its average price is $37. Ledger Shredder, and this is the extended out version of this card from Streets Anuka Penna. This rare is down 13% today from $13.84 to $12.04 for its market price, and its average price is $15. Chimmel the Inner Sun from the Lost Caverns of Ixlon. This mythic legendary artifact is down 13.07% from $17 to $14.77 for its market price, and its average price is $16.39. Slickshot Show Off, and this is the extended out version of this card from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. This rare is down 13.11% from $12.13 to $10.54 for its market price, and its average price is $13.13. .13. Endurance, and this is the borderless version of this mythic from Modern Horizons 2. It's down 13.17% from $26.87 to $23.33 for its market price, and its average price is $29.07. Urza Lord High Artificer, and this is the retro frame version of this card from Dominaria Remastered. It's down 13.31% from $10.74 to $9.31 for its market price, and its average price is $11. Alibaba from Arabian Nights. This card is down 13.58% from $24.22 to $20.93 for its market price, and its average price is $21. Thassa Deep Dwelling, and this is the showcase version of this mythic from Theros Beyond Death. It's down 13.85% from $13.43 to $11.57 for its market price, and its average price is $14.49. Aetherworks Marvel from Kaladesh. This legendary artifact is down 14.22% from $9.35 to $8.02 for its market price, and its average price is $9.23. Esper Sentinel from Modern Horizons 2. This card is down 14.34% from $28.53 to $24.44 for its market price, and its average price is $30. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Field of the Dead from Corset 2020. This rare land is up 16.84% today from $24.35 to $28.45 for its market price, and its average price is $27.87. The pre-release copy is sitting at $29.05 for its market price, and its average price is $32. The promo pack copy is sitting at $22.72 for its market price, and its average price is $29.39. And the Secret Layer series copy Cabin of the Dead from the Evil Dead Secret Layer is currently sitting at $49.22 for its market price, and its average price is $60. And this card is seeing some legacy play in lands decks, however it sees most of its play in the commander format in commanders like the Necrobloom and Will Help the Rock Cleaver. And the next winner on our list is Royal Elemental from Zendikar. This rare is up 18.60% today from $7.74 to $9.18 for its market price, and its average price is $7.71. And 
and the Secret Layer Series copy sitting at $15.25 for its market price, and its average price is $16. And this card is seeing a ton of commander play in commanders like Omnath, Locus of Creation, as well as Nadu Winged Wisdom. The next winner here is Delighted Halfling, and this is the extended art version of this rare from Lord of the Rings. It's up 21.13% from $9.37 to $11.35 for its market price, and its average price is $10.82. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $12.76 for its market price, and its average price is $14.85. And the borderless pre-release copy is sitting at $9.95 for its market price, and its average price is $10.93. And the regular copy sitting at $10.50 for its market price, and its average price is exactly the same. And the extended art surge foil is sitting at $11 for its average price. And the borderless copy is sitting at $10.61 for its market price, and its average price is $11.90. The showcase scrolls copy is sitting at $14.63 for its market price, and its average price is $16. And this card is seeing a lot of modern play in decks like 4 to 5 color Omnath, as well as Yogmoth. however also sees commander play in commanders like Animar's Soul of Elements and Frodo Adventures Hobbit who also pairs with Sam Loyal Attendant. And the next winner on our list today is Silent Arbiter from Commander Masters. This rare artifact creature is currently up 22.11% from $5.79 to $7.07 .07 for its market price, and its average price is $6.97. And the Commander 2020 copy is sitting at $6.09 for its market price, and its average price is $6.17. And the Conspiracy copy is sitting at $5.08 for its market price, and its average price is $5.41. And the original copy from Fifth Dawn is sitting at $4.52 for its market price, and its average price is $5.97. Now this card is seeing most of its play in the commander format in commanders like Commodore Guff, as well as Obeka Splitter of Seconds from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Next up here is Zafetto Alchemist from Onslaught. This uncommon is up 22.77% from $6.94 to $8.52 for its market price, and its average price is $8.73. And this card as well as seeing most of its play in the commander format and commanders like Arcanus the Omnipotent, Garth One-Eye, but this card sees most of its play in the commander Nadu Wing Wisdom from Modern Horizons 3. And the next winner on our list today is Soul Spike from Cold Snap. This rare is up 27.98% from $4.61 to $5.90 for its market price, and its average price is $35. Now it's spiking because people are realizing that it pairs perfectly with Necro Dominance in a nice little combo. While this card has a ton of other printings, it was also reprinted in Modern Horizons 3, probably bringing the attention back to Soul Spike. This card is also being played right now in the modern format in Rakdos Burn decks. However, also sees a bit of commander play in commanders like Yuriko the Tiger Shadow and Gissa the Hellraiser. And the next winner on our list is Higgyr, this still win from Betrayers of Kamigawa. This rare is up 34.90% from $8.74 to $11.79 for its market price, and its average price is $8.74. And the Plain Chase 2012 copy is sitting at $6.78 for its market price, and its average price is $7.23. And the Plain Chase Anthology reprint is sitting at $6.30 for its market price, and its average price is $7.76. The Halo Foil Secret Layer Series copy is sitting at $19.10 for its market price, and its average price is $19.49. And commanders like Yuriko the Tiger Shadow. Next up here is Shuko from Betrayers of Kamigawa. This uncommon card is at 42.50% from $15.13 to $21.56 for its market price, and its average price is $35. Now this card is actually seeing a bit of commander play in commanders like Nadu Wing Wisdom, however also see some legacy play in Cephalid Breakfast, but if there are any other decks, let me know down below in the comment section. What about Second Breakfast? Don't think he knows about Second Breakfast, Pip. And our final winner on our list today is Flagstones of Trokir from Time Spiral Remastered. And it's up 54.05% from $5.68 to $8.75 for its market price, and its average price is $13.98. And the original Time Spiral copy is sitting at $4.36 for its market price, and its average price is $18.21. And the Ultimate Masters reprint is sitting at $5.57 for its market price, and its average price is $15.09. Now this card is seeing some modern play in Orzhov mid-range decks, however it sees most of its play in the legacy format in decks like Maverick, Death and Taxes, and Selesnya Depths. 
And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day. And we are going to start that list off here with Unquestioned Authority from Judgment. This old frame foils up 13.67% from $17.12 to $19.46 for its foil market price, and its average price is $21. Flare of Loyalties, and this is the extended art foil from Commander Masters, up 22% today from $14.19 to $17.31 for its foil market price, and its average price is $39.90. Soul Spike from Cold Snap. This foils up 22.02% from $19.98 to $24.38 for its foil market price, and its average price is $40. Herald of Kozilek from Battle for Zendikar. This foils up 24.32% from $5.55 to $6.90 for its foil market price, and its average price is $20.21. Aether's Thing from Urza's Destiny. This old frame foils up 26.10% from $20.84 to $26.28 for its foil market price, and its average price is $20.88. Insist from Torment. Another old frame foil up 37.24% from $5.29 to $7.26 for its foil market price, and its average price is $8. Secluded Step, another old frame foil this time from Onslaught, up 44.19% from $8.26 to $11.91 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7.20. Larceny from Mercadian Mass, another old frame foil up 49.46% from $4.61 to $6.89 for its foil market price, and its average price is $6.51. Next up is an even tied foil light from within, up 59.42% from $7.59 to $12.10 for its foil market price, and its average price is $19.98. Ancestors Profit from Onslaught, another old frame foil up 107.89% from $1.90 to $3.95 for its foil market price, and its average price is $4.20. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering Market Movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you guys could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so that way my channel can continue to grow on YouTube. Also, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite mover of the day was, which cards you're most surprised to see on the list, and which cards you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering market movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day and take care. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.